from the stone age of mobile gaming, I always believe that racing games will gather most of our attention because of the mechanics they are created upon. And with powerful processors in our pocket, it wasn't long before companies took advantage of it. We all know that there are a lot of car racing games and it's obvious that the Asphalt series and the real racing series are at the top of the charts here. But what about the bike racing games, Mr. Hari Lakshman? Isn't there anything that can stack up to our expectation in the competition? I guess we'll have to find out. So hey, what is up guys? Hi Lakshman here for the Angular Review on SBK15 for the Android and the iOS. Just like the previous iteration, SBK15 focuses on providing us with the most realistic bike racing experience as possible. People are also given the option to choose between real bike brands and the new famous races. There are nearly 13 race circuits around, which also includes the brand new Chang International Circuit. There are nearly three modes for you to play through: Minute Race, Time Attack, and Championship. Quick Race is where you select a random character and make him play in a random race of your choice. Time Attack is where you try to beat your previous best timing you took in the previous lap. Championship is where you select one particular racer with whom you have to lead a season. One of the main features that destroys the entire competition is the graphics. Thanks to the enhanced physics engine, we get a realistic place to play through which definitely reminds me of the PC bike racing games we used to play before. The game makes sure that it is as realistic as you can get. Even the silliest mistakes can throw you back at the race. The soundtrack helps in indulging us with the game. You can do stunts in this game, although it can also lead to your doom. In addition, Google Play Services is also included in this game to enhance the experience. I did feel that the multiplayer support is required for this game to spice things up. You can also change the difficulty if you feel that the game is a touch too tough for you. You can change the controls if you want to. Something that makes me come back to this game again and again is the edge to edge graphics which makes it closer to a simulation game. There are bugs present in the game but they are not noticeable. In the end, I felt that this game stood out to be one of the best bike racing games I've ever seen. Since I didn't play the SBK14, I don't know much about it and I'm completely into this game. I hope that the multiplayer is included and I would be happy if there is even a leaderboard support. And please fix those minor bugs, despite the fact that they are not seen properly, they can even lead to, what should I say, the misleading of the gyroscope and everything. So please fix that as well. So that's pretty much it for my review. Like this video if you like it, just like it if you dislike it. Leave a comment letting me know how can I improve my videos and please don't forget to subscribe.